This is the first constitutional order we have had that has lasted for getting close to 30 years. And I believe the structuring of the constitution and particularly the setting up of a number of governance structures like the Human Rights Commission is one of them. Firstly, it does that because justice has been brought very, very close to the doorsteps of many people in an informal way. Formally, if anybody had to address human rights issues, even the High Court was not an arena. You needed to go to the Supreme Court in most cases to get your human rights enforced. Now that you have a Human Rights Commission that is decentralized down to the district level, it becomes easier for people to assess justice. The Commission has received about 300,000 complaints in the 30 years, and we have resolved no, 298,000. That is a contribution. That means that if the Commission was not there, these number of complaints that have been resolved would have been the basis of internal disputes among people. And so as a governance institution, we think we've done well in the area of complaints, investigation, and redress. In the area of legislation, that will take care of uh, traditional practices that are dehumanizing. We, have, we can count a number of successes. One, female gen genital mutilation. We've been able, through public education, to justify the need to stop that practice. Trocosi, the practice of uh, uh, female uh, servitude uh, in the particular areas of this country, we have been able to undertake very informed public education, pushed traditional authority to stop the practice, and to have alternative life, livelihoods in place. And we have also had the practice criminalized about the witchcraft accusation. Because of the witch camps in the northern regions of this country, we have been able, through the efforts of others, finally had the bill passed. And I'm hoping that the president would assent to it soon. And that will be the basis for uh, sanctioning the practice of witch doctors and uh, witch hunters and, in fact, community members who label people and name people.